The birthplace of the successful commercial farming of lemon myrtle was at the Channon Lismore by Australian Native Products. However, Aboriginal Australians knew lemon myrtle's amazing properties for millennia. The story of lemon myrtle is an absolutely remarkable story. It takes us back some 40 to 60,000 years ago. That's how long my people, Indigenous Australians, have known the secrets of hundreds of native plants, flowers, seeds and grasses, and in particular, the native lemon myrtle plant. Did you know that lemon myrtle has the highest citral content of any tree, and at 90% has more lemon flavour than the lemon? It was also used by my people in medicine for its powerful cleansing properties. Although classified by botanist James Backhouse in the 19th century, until recent decades, lemon myrtle remained virtually unnoticed, except by Aboriginal Australians. During World War II, it was briefly used as a lemon flavour in soda drinks, but was then used as the green leaves in flower arrangements until the late 20th century. That's when a group of true visionaries realised lemon myrtle's extraordinary market potential. There were many pioneers, but our focus is on those from Australian native products. Frank Basie, Gary Mazzarana, and the late Sibylla Hess Bushman. They invented the revolutionary farming and production techniques that set industry standards and took lemon myrtle to international markets, including the EU. Our priority when we formed the company was to grow the best possible product we could, also was to implement the best possible practices, not only agronomic practices, but practices with producing high quality product. In the beginning, we had to hand strip and do everything manually. Our priority naturally going into a commercialised farming project was that we need to mechanise it, which was a, a process that took us 10 years to develop, but then we ended up with a, a system that worked very, very well. It was pretty much state of the art. No one else in the world had that technology and that's what made us successful in so many other ways because it wasn't just because we were trying to grow the best trees possible but it was also we had the best possible stripping equipment which gave us the capacity to get our yields up. Based on either the leaf or the essential oil, lemon myrtle and aniseed myrtle are now used in an array of foods as a herb as well as in the expanding tea market. We are also progressing to full organic farming and processing, already having organic certification of select farms with more to follow. Certified purely organic will open up even more markets. While the story of lemon myrtle is remarkable, the future possibilities are even more extraordinary. We are leading the industry towards a very bright future, which will benefit both the Australian community and the health and well-being of humanity.